Hello everyone and welcome back to Trencube. Today we're going to be showing you the top 5 accidents caused by Pokemon Go. Now if you are a parent or guardian who is in care of a child, please do not feel threatened or alarmed that they are playing this game. 9 times out of 10 these people in this video were misusing the app and you'll see what I mean during the video. If you do have a child who plays this game, it's very worth just reminding them to be careful of their surroundings and to always look before crossing a road. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on with today's video. So coming in at number 5, we actually have a guy live streaming Pokemon Go and it is pretty dark. However, during this stream you actually hear him fall in water and say shit I didn't realise there was water there. The phone then closes down Pokemon Go and it slowly starts to shut down as water intercepts with the phone. Wow. Holy shit, I didn't know that was water. <laughs> Just remember kids, look where you're walking. Pokemon Go. I did not realize that was water. I know, you got me, dude. Coming in at number four, Pokemon Go causes a major highway accident after a man stops in the middle of a highway to catch a Pikachu. The article states 26 year old Lamar Hickson is accused of causing one of the worst highway accidents after stopping in the middle of the highway to catch a Pikachu. Lamar Hickson admitted to the police he was playing the newly released Pokemon app known as Pokemon Go whilst driving. He said, Shit, if you want to catch them all, you gotta take risks. So I parked my car and started tossing these balls. Nobody was seriously hurt, but this raises concerns about future accidents. We spoke to one of the car accident victims and he also says he was also playing the game. Coming in at number 3, we have another Pokemon Go user who actually manages to crash his car into a tree. Now this managed to go viral in the United Kingdom, it was all over Facebook or it was all in our local newspapers such as the Mirror and the Sun and this following image was actually taken by myself in our local newspaper. So as you can see, it states, A mum yesterday begged drivers not to play Pokemon Go at the wheel like her son, after he cheated death in this wreck. Distracted Stephen Carey, 28, smashed into a tree as he tried to catch a rare Lapras character that popped up onto his phone. Last night, Stephen was recovering from a broken ankle and cuts. His mum, Tricia, posted pictures of his car on Facebook after the crash. Derbyshire Police also tweeted out very shortly after the accident saying, Safety advice issued to users of the hashtag Pokemon Go game upon its official launch in the UK. Coming in at number two, two Pokemon users actually managed to fall off a cliff whilst playing Pokemon Go. Now do not worry, these two men are not fully injured and they were drunk during this event. The article stated two men fell off a cliff Wednesday in San Diego's North County while playing Pokemon Go. San Diego's lifeguards reported that someone had fallen off a cliff at East Street around 1.12pm. When the fire department arrived, they found a man around 80 to 90 feet down the cliff on the beach. Although this article was very limited, it was later confirmed neither of the men were seriously injured and in fact, I think they've pretty much learned their lesson. Again, just to be a reminder, these two men were intoxicated when doing this event, so please don't be alarmed, this may be you. Coming in at number one, we have a news report from the US, which is sort of a US documentary slash news report of this young girl who actually manages to get hit by a car whilst playing Pokemon Go. Her parent and herself talk about the app, how she managed to get hit by a car, and showing the results afterward. I do blame it. It took me to the museum and I got it and then I walked back to the highway. I put the phone down on my side. I kind of rolled like in the air before I hit the ground. I knew it was the game. I knew it was. I was like that damn game. I shouldn't have let her play it. It took her to a, a place that most kids wouldn't cross anyway. I mean, kids don't just cross a highway. You know, they're, they're not going to walk across a highway for no reason. This thing had her walking across the highway to find a Pokemon.
So at the end of this event, I thought I'd leave a nice little happy clip just to put a smile on your face during the end of the video. Then I can go in the back of his garden, so Joe's gonna help me get this for permission. Joe's gonna help me get this Pidgey. Let's do it. I think I saw a Weedle. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Yo, you got it, can you see it? Yeah, it's a pidgey. I'm literally fighting it right now. Fuck, you actually found a fucking pidgey in someone's back garden. Thank you. See you later. Cheers, mate. Might as well check. I don't think it's the asshole. I'm just gonna swim on back. If you see it though, just let me know. Woo! Ah! 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 Oh, fucking that squirtles around here somewhere. The bastard used escape rope. Ran off the little bastard, so. It's telling me there's a Pokemon just over here. Do you mind if I can touch it? Literally, only all I have to do is just flick my Pokeball. Yeah, cool. Um, I, can, I think it's under here. Yeah, it is. Caught him, I've got him. Cheers, mate. Oh, Thank God. you. Oh, See you later. Gotta catch them all. STIs.